I did get a comment from one of my viewers to ask if I could show how to make chicken and dumplings. So let's get it started. Before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And I'm actually gonna cheat just a little bit because I'm getting started with a rotisserie chicken that I picked up at Kroger. They had some on sale one day for like $2.99. For some reason or another, they got in too many chickens for their uh, rotisserie. And so they decided to just cook them all and then put them on sale for a really good price to encourage people to buy them. So I picked up three. So let me go ahead and get this chicken cut up. So I've cut it in half. I don't know why I always forget to do that and then I get the thing moving all around and then I'm like, okay, did you forget the basics? So put a kitchen towel underneath your cutting board and that keeps it from spinning all around. And let me just say that these chicken and dumpling meals are, I would say, a meal extender. Three there. And I'm gonna cut the breast back combination in half. So here's two more pieces. So now I've got five pieces right here and this thigh combination can be cut also. So I'm gonna drop those into my pot. And of course, I'm using my Curtis Stone Dutch oven. And the same thing with this side. So now that I've got the chicken pieces in here, I'm going to add six cups of chicken broth. And I've got four cups in this carton here. And I'm working from my preps. I've been checking my Best Buy date. And this one has a March of 2022 on it. So I thought I better get started using some of these. And then I'm going to make two cups of broth with this better than bouillon. I've got the turkey, the chicken, and the beef better than bouillon base. And it makes it so good. But this particular one is best by October 26th of 2021. So I need to get it used up too. It's almost used up, but I need to make that happen. So I'm going to make two cups of chicken broth with this. I need a bay leaf. So I'm going to drop that right in. And then this is the time that I actually put up myself. I really put up two or three jars or two or three of these little spice jars at a time. I save my spice jars. Like I usually buy McCormick. And then I save the jars. They make such nice little spice jars. So I feel like I'm getting two for the price of one. So let's get this on the stove. And I'm going to just let it simmer there on the stove oh, for about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to heat up this cup of water in the microwave. And then once it's hot, I'll add my better than bouillon chicken base. You need to add one teaspoon to one cup of water to get a cup of broth. And so what I'll do is I'll add two teaspoons to this that's already hot. And then I'll add another cup of water just to get that done. And this better than base, oh my gosh, it makes the best, the most flavorful chicken broth, or turkey broth, or beef broth, or pork broth. Now we're gonna pour this into the pot. And you can see we've got enough broth to cover, and I think I might add one more cup. One of the things that my young homemakers always say is they're not sure what order to go in. And one of the things you wanna think about is what has to be cooked first, what takes the longest, what only takes a short time, that kind of thing. And the carrots and the celery will certainly take longer to get tender than it will take for the dumplings to cook. So while the chicken is simmering in the broth, I'll get the celery and the carrots prepped, then I'll get them into the broth so that they can start to cook and become tender so that when everything is ready, I can drop the dumplings into the simmering broth and then they'll cook and then we can plate everything up. So I believe in cleaning as you go. So I'm going to clean up this counter, these onion peels, and then I'm going to get the chicken out of the pot and into a dish and pull it off the bone so it can be cooling. And then I'll get ready to saute the veggies. Had to get a clean dish towel. Oh, let me show them to you. Look at this. It says crazy cat lady on it. Aren't these cute? These are the other ones. This is the matching towel to that set. Look how delicious this looks. So now I'm going to take the meat 
and the bay leaf out of the pot and let the chicken cool. And once it's cooled, I'll shred it up. Now we'll strain the broth. Now I'm gonna return the broth to the pot and set it over on the stove. Now one thing I do need to do is to taste the broth. I wanna make sure that the soup's broth is amazing. Otherwise, if I need to add additional herbs, spices, or whatever, I wanna do that now. So by the time I'm ready to add the dumplings, I know it's good to go, so let's give it a taste. Mmm. The broth is delicious, so it doesn't need anything added. So now I'm gonna go ahead, set it off to the side, and saute my veggies. And I'm gonna let this come to a low simmer while I get the dumplings ready. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of butter and then I'm gonna add a cup of heavy cream. And since I don't have heavy cream, I just have milk. I'm gonna add some extra butter to my milk and butter combination to give that dumpling that extra fat that you need. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of chopped parsley and a teaspoon of chopped thyme. This is the extra butter fat that I'm putting in to make my heavy cream. And this is one of my favorite cups. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It's the Pioneer Woman measuring cup set. I'm going to bring this to a low simmer and then I'll add it to the dry ingredients. Now we're going to give it a nice little stir with this rubber spatula and we want to combine it until it's mixed. And then once it's all mixed, I'll form the dumplings. And dumplings are just little lumps. I'll just take a little ball of dough like this and the baking powder in the dumplings help them to rise. Now this soup has been simmering for a little while, so the broth is nice and hot. You can see the steam rising off, it, off of it, so it's perfect to drop the dumplings in. And so I'm gonna drop these dumplings in, just drop them down on top, one at a time. And then I'll cover them and let them just kind of simmer and cook for about 25, 30 minutes. Now here's something else. If you don't want to make dumplings, you could just use any kind of pasta. You could use the gnocchi pasta, the potato dumplings. They're wonderful, and I could see them being really good in this. Or you could just use any kind of noodles, and then it would be more like a chicken noodle soup. This chicken and dumplings meal is supposed to serve six. But if you've got smaller people or lighter eaters, it will probably serve eight. And then, of course, you can have some green beans or something else on the side to extend it even more if you need to. And you could certainly do a meal with a vegetable soup with dumplings. Use a vegetable broth, vegetable stock, and then once it's all done, just make the dumplings and drop them on top should you want to do that. But we're doing chicken and dumplings around here. Here's what they're looking like now. So look at those dumplings. They're already expanding and rising, just like bread dough, they're starting to rise. My husband can't wait. I went upstairs to do something and I came back down and I said, did you get into that pot? He said, no, but I did peek at it. It's smelling awfully good. Too bad we don't have smeller vision. So now I'm gonna cover this and just let it simmer for about 25 minutes. And then I'll plate it up and let you take a look. Too bad you won't be able to get a taste. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh. Look at those dumplings. My, oh my. Let's plate some of that up. Alright, let's give it a taste. 
first thing I'm going to do is just taste the broth. The broth in this chicken and dumplings is absolutely amazing and the dumplings added a natural thickness so that you've got a nice thick almost gravy like broth. Now we'll taste the dumpling and the chicken. Mmm. Delicious. The dumplings are nice and light. They're not heavy at all. Just delicious. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Let me cut one open for you. And this is how they're looking inside. They taste absolutely delicious. And this will make a perfect Sunday dinner. All you need to do to round everything out with this chicken and dumplings dish, you've already got carrots in it, so you could have a side dish of maybe some green beans, some collard greens if you're a southern style, cabbage, collard greens, green beans, lima beans, anything like that. Or of course, you can also have some corn or something like that. And then you need an apple pie on the side. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. To see more of my homemaking stories, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of our homemaking stories. And I will see you next time. Be sure to visit us at www.aprondiva.com.